everybody. Good afternoon. It is great to see such a good crowd here. Uh, welcome to Story and Song. This is our second grade performance. We're so excited to be um, acting out two books for you this afternoon. The first book we're going to act out is the story called Swimming. Uh, Swimming was first published in 1964, and uh, we're also going to be acting out the book Caps for Sale, which was first um, published in 1964. 40. So these are two uh, books that have been around a long time. A lot of people have read them, but we're going to try to put our own spin on them today. Our very first song uh, that we're going to sing is not one of the two books, but it's a song called If a Tiger Calls, and it's by uh, Elizabeth Gilpatrick. And she based this song on a famous poem by Ogden Nash that goes like this. The panther is like a leopard, except that it hasn't been peppered. Should you behold a panther crouch, prepare to say ouch. Better yet, if called by a panther, don't answer. Enjoy story and song. In a corner of the sea somewhere, they were all red. One of them was black as a muscle shell. She swam faster than her brothers and sisters. Her name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam to the deep hole and she was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as she swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again.
weeds. She saw a school of little fish just like her own. Let's go and swim and play and see things. can't just lie there. You must think of something. So we thought and thought and thought and suddenly she said, I have it. We're going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. She taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, she said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, and on the very top a bunch of red caps. She walked up and down the streets holding herself very straight so as not to upset her caps. As she went along she sang,
or a brown, or a blue, or a red cat. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. She didn't know what to do. Finally, she just spoke to them. You monkeys, you! You give me back my cats! This made the peddler angry, so she shook both her hands and at them and, and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my cats! Now she felt quite angry. She stamped with her foot and she said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my cats! By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. She stamped with her feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my cats! At last, she became so angry that she pulled off her own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps, came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up her cap, caps and put them back on her head. First her own checked cap. Then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly she walked back to town singing. Give another round of applause to these great second graders. What's this one? Okay, ready? You did um, John Jones? This him, this is the Magnus Stripes, the author David Shannon, illustrated, illustrated by David Shannon and Kathleen. She told him to act more like Kathleen Westray? Okay, you don't have to repeat the whole thing to everybody. What do you like about the book? You don't need to read the whole thing to every person, though. There might be 20 people that come here. What do you like about the book? Uh, Why did you pick it? I don't know. You picked it because you couldn't find any other book? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Did you draw that picture of her? No? How did you get such a good picture of her? My dad printed it. <laughs> what, what part did you do? Uh, I did all the writing. You did all the writing? And you glued it all on there? Cool. Nice job. Good job on the play, too. I got you on video. Bye. Hello. My name's Cody. And I'm going to Cub Scouts. Ripley, yay. Bye.